What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome little biochar makers. I learned how to do this from the Live on What You Grow YouTube channel and it's crazy just how easy these are to make. So without further ado I'm going to take a few that I have already made and I'm going to stick them in the fire so I can see how long it takes for this process to happen while I show you how to make some. By the way, do you like what my children named as my minion outfit? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get at it. So what do you need to make one of these? All right, pretty simple. Need a screwdriver, a hammer, and um, what the, the guy I watched, he used was a crimper, but since I don't have a crimper, I am going to use some needle nose pliers. It works just the same. So what you're gonna do is you have to crimp one side of the can because you want it to fit inside the other one. So let me show you how easy that is with the pliers. Just take it like this, you're gonna turn it 90 degrees, then you're gonna go down about a quarter of an inch or a half inch or so and you're gonna do it again and you're just gonna go all the way around the can like that all right so once you get it done like this go ahead and kind of pull it back out to more of a round shape and then you will see that it will fit in here quite nicely, like so. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your screwdriver, oops, straighten it out, there we go. You're gonna take your screwdriver and your hammer, screwdriver right here, there you go. And that is all there is to it. Now you can do it with large cans, you can do it with any size can you want. You can even do it with the cans that have the uh, pull tab on them. But of course, what I realized with that is if you do it with the ones with the pull tab, you can only do that for the side that you crimp. You can't do it for the side that's gonna slide over the top because it will have that ring inside. So if you crimp this one, just like you did the other one, And you'll see it fits right inside. Same thing. Gonna take your screwdriver. And there you go. Now, let's fill them up. So like I said, what I did with these smaller ones is I took the wood shavings that I had. I mean, here's some, some sticks even, some leaves, all kinds of, some other bigger pieces. Just jam it all down in there. Some acorn husks or whatever that is. Doesn't really matter. It will all uh, turn into char. All right, so we got that one all nice and filled up. Now we're gonna fill up the other half, like so. Get it all jammed in there. And you're just gonna take this one, flip it over real quick shove it in and that bad boy is ready to go in the fire uh, you can even put them like what uh, what he did he puts them in his wood burning stove these would fit inside my wood burning stove no problem these on the other hand would not make it through the door of my wood burning stove and hopefully I'm done with that for the rest of this year all right so then in this bigger one, you can use a multitude of stuff. I use some of these bigger pieces. Just throw them in there, some bark. Well, that didn't break as well. Whatever you want, throw it in there. All these pieces, big, small. Got some sticks down here. You could throw in some uh, whole acorns, whatever.
All right, so got them all full here. Same principle applies. Just flip it over real quick. Make sure I don't have too much in there. Let's jam her down to see. I might have a little bit too much in. If that's the case, which I do. A little different with these big pieces. They don't really uh, smush down like the sawdust does. So let's try that again. And whoop. Now maybe. I see the problem. See the big guys over here on the side that are in the way. So let's put some of these smaller pieces back in. Get rid of that giant one for now. go that's quick that's simple it's easy um, it's with cans that you have probably in your preps lying around maybe you can go to a restaurant if you want to get some of these bigger cans if you don't have them uh, readily available I'm sure lots of restaurants out there use them uh, every restaurant I've ever worked in always had 10 pound cans for pretty much everything uh, oh as soon as these are done, I will show you what that biochar looks like. All right, so I got a few of them in here right now. If you look, see the smoke blowing out of there? So from what um, the channel I watch said, once that smoke stops, then you know your biochar is done. And they've only been in there for a minute, and it's already getting on it. That's awesome. 10 minutes later. All right, so here it is. Only a short 10 minutes later. And like I said, it's probably because these pieces are already really dry and really small anyways. Uh, the big one still seems to be going a little bit. But let's take a look. You wanna see it up close? Come on, come in a little closer, let me show you. Oh yeah, who's ready, who's ready? I'm ready. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Let me get it poured into this bowl over here. I actually already emptied one. So, see it. But let's look here. Look at that. How about that? And it's, it's shiny too. That is so freaking awesome can't wait to see what the big one looks like like i said this took 10 minutes 10 minutes wow so after only about 25 minutes the big one is ready to go it looks like and again this is um the wood that's in here is pieces that are left over from when i've been uh chopping my firewood so this wood is seasoned it's probably at least a year and a half old which i'm sure has a lot to do with the fact that it only took 25 minutes but let's see what it looks like inside who's ready to see the big boy i know i am Woo -wee. look at that i mean what see that see how amazing that is That is fantastic. Let's pour it in with the rest of the stuff here. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. Some of it's still doing its thing. Check that out. How wonderful is that? So now that it's made, I went ahead and I stuck it in some water. Unchlorinated water, that is. Um, that way it will stop the process from breaking down because of course this stuff was really hot still. So um, what you wanna do prior to sticking it in your garden is you wanna inoculate it first because this stuff is porous and it wants to absorb fungi and bacteria and microbes into it. So if you stick it into the soil at the state it's in when you first finish it, it will actually absorb all of the good stuff out of the soil and make your soil worse. So. What I would do before I stick it into my garden is I'm gonna inoculate it first. All right, so a little bit of an update. 
on this right here because you know earlier I was taking it out of the can and throwing it right into the water. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it or not. Um, but what I did discover is if you wait just a little bit longer, um, it will cool off enough in here. And without the oxygen, just a little bit of oxygen that comes through this hole here, it will actually stop smoldering like what it was doing when I poured it right out right away. So that way you could crush it up or whatever you want to do first before you inoculate it. Um, but I mean, I don't think it'll matter because here's some stuff that's in the water. I'm sure once it's all inoculated, chicken, get out of the kitchen. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so I'm sure you can crush it up either way. Like, I mean, I'm still able to smash this all up. So what I've done in here so far, since this is the first batch and I haven't had time to make some swamp water. <laughs> Swamp fever. Huh? Swamp fever. Swamp fever. Which is basically what I want to make, and I'll do another video on that. This is kind of a combination of both. Um, it's got the biochar in there, but then it's also got some uh, some green stuff in here. Anything green that I could find. Um, maybe a little bit of urine is in there. I got some coffee grounds in there. So really just anything uh, good for the soil that the biochar can absorb. And then I'll probably leave it in here for, I don't know, about two weeks or so. Uh, that way it'll give time for some of the nutrients and the minerals in the green matter to break down and go into the biochar. And then I'll get it added to the soil. So don't forget, keep checking because I will do a um, swamp water video coming up. <laughs>